Well guys, I got the uh, Molly Cleavite motor here on the engine stand now, and this is the 5.9 uh, Cummins. And these uh, pistons in it are Molly Cleavite pistons, and they're uh, ceramic coated by Polydyne, and then they got the uh, the uh, Polydyne uh, polymer coated skirts, and then of course the uh, bearings in this motor are coated by uh, Polydyne. So uh, after this motor gets broke in, I plan on running the uh, Polydyne TX7 in this motor, and like I said, after I get it broke in. So uh, anyhow, I plan on cranking about 350, maybe 400 horses out of this motor here, and uh, we're going to get started on this within the week or so here. And then I got the uh, Cleavite banner up on the wall now, and then the uh, Victor Rines, and I still got to hang up the uh, Molly Motorsports banner. And uh, Molly Motorsports is actually uh, furnishing the uh, pistons for the uh, thousand horse motor, and they're being made right now. So I should have them sometime this week, maybe next week. It takes them uh, four weeks to custom make a set of pistons, and we'll get into that whenever I get the pistons. But uh, that's for the thousand horse motor, guys. Anyway, as far as this motor here goes, I still got to pull the head off the uh, tan truck so I can have it machined up and everything. And I've got to run that head and the 1,000 uh, horse motor head up to uh, Iowa. And uh, I'm going to have the, uh, the heads ported and polished. And then of course I already cut the uh, intake plenum off this head, as everybody remembers. So uh, they got to go back in here on this head and uh, finish milling the uh, plenum off this head for the uh, intake here. And then um, I'm going to do the same with this uh, the Cleavite motor here. So like I said, I'm going to get about 350, 400 horses out of the Cleavite motor. And then, like I said, I got the 1,000 uh, horse Black Betty motor to build yet. So anyhow, guys, I got a lot to, a lot to deal with yet here and uh, a lot to do. So hopefully sometime in January here, I can make a trip out to, uh, to Tennessee here and uh, take a uh, tour of Molly Cleavite's facility out there. And then... Uh, so I get to take my camera with me and that's going to be some pretty cool videos. And then um, as far as it goes in uh, Iowa, I get to video all the head work and the porting and polishing of the uh, heads. And then on that 1,000 horse motor, they're going to put bigger valves and everything in it. So that's going to be pretty cool. So uh, anyhow, I got the uh, NV, NV4500 5-speed transmission sitting in here. That's going to be going in uh, behind the uh, Molly motor. And then um, I'm going to get the frame in here tonight and get this transmission out of here tomorrow and get it cleaned up and uh, run, run it up to uh, Bloomingthaw and have them check that transmission out and probably work it over a little bit and make sure everything's kosher with it. And then, um, so, yeah, I've got a lot to do, guys. And then i got the uh, camshaft over there. That's the, uh, the camshaft for the Molly motor there the uh, Molly Cleavite motor and the reground tappets in the bag here. There's some here and there's some over there in that bag, but uh, anyhow, I'll kind of go over this bill with you guys and uh, see what you think about this here. So uh, whenever I had this motor at the machine shop, I had uh, already bought an overhaul kit for this motor before uh, Molly Cleavite had jumped in on the deal. and. Uh, so I ended up buying an extra engine kit that's sitting in the house right now that I'll use sometime in the future. But uh, anyhow, six rod bearings, 5688, uh, set of main bearings, 6734, uh, cam bearing, $7.38. A set of uh, piston rings and pistons were $637.74. Six pin bushings, thirty-seven dollars and sixty-two cents, and then a set of shims, seven dollars twenty cents, an oil pump, eighty-seven dollars ninety-one cents, and then uh, a cam plug, two dollars and forty-eight cents. The uh, front sleeve, which I'm going to be pulling that sleeve back off this motor, off the uh, crankshaft because I've got one with the uh, Victor Rines kit, Molly Cleavite, and the uh, Victor Rines is a lot better than what's on this motor here. So uh, it's got a, a rear sleeve for the uh, rear rear of the crankshaft, and that was thirteen dollars and ten cents. So parts alone, and like I said, I've got all this stuff sitting in the house there. That was uh, nine hundred and twenty-five dollars and seventy-one cents. So uh, 
as far as it goes with the machine work here and all this uh, machine work I had on the head done was uh, pretty much a waste of money because uh, they're going to actually mill another 80 thousandths off the head and then uh, cut bigger valves and all that so there's about $338 is a little bit of a waste of money but uh, anyhow so pressure testing the head was uh, $60 um, cleaning the head and the valve job was $160 um, kernel guides was $72, milling the head was uh, $60, vatting the engine was $60, and then um, boring the block and honing it was $210, and then uh, deglazing cylinders, no charge, and then uh, decking, the, decking the block or milling the block was $120, uh, installing cam bearing and plugs was $25, grinding the crankshaft and polishing here's where I one of the other mistakes that I made I uh, had them polish the crankshaft out and then after they had the crankshaft ready to go in the motor I told them to uh, hold off and I had them turn the crankshaft 10-10 so that was extra charge for me and that was on my part it was uh, $325 and then uh, replacing the uh, pin bushings was uh, $120 and then uh, assembling short block was $300 and they actually had to plastic gauge everything guys so there was a lot of extra work because of all them coated parts in this motor and then um, let's see uh, grinding the cam and lifters was uh, $246 that brought the grand total out to uh, right there just for labor was uh, $1758 and then uh, hazmat was uh, $30, $35.16. Parts was $925.71. And then uh, freight for the parts and everything were $64.41. That brought, that brought the grand total out to uh, $2,783.28. And then uh, sales tax was uh, $87.94. 287122 and uh, so I've got this other head that I put some money down on and uh, the, the uh, head's still on the truck yet but so uh, I gave them extra $128.78 so uh, I've still got to uh, get the other head pressure test and then uh, a valve job done on it and then uh, kernel valve guides or kernel guides and seventy two dollars and then milling the head uh, sixty dollars and the hazmat six sixty four and that brought it out to uh, three hundred and thirty eight dollars and sixty four cents so I'd already give them a extra hundred and twenty eight dollars on that and that leaves me owing them guys after I take the head out there I'll owe them uh, another two hundred nine dollars and eighty six cents so grand total on everything if you think about it here is going to be 2871.22 plus this uh, $338.64 and plus that gives me an extra overhaul kit for another 5.9 Cummins so that's kind of how that turned out guys there was uh, that expense that extra expense was my fault because uh, I had them uh, grind the head and do the valve work and everything on that head and then uh, decided that was going to be the uh, for the molly motor so or the uh, black betty motor anyhow guys so it set it well over three thousand dollars on this motor here well guys I put a dent in the mess I made here so I uh, got everything cleaned up and kind of picked up and organized and uh, I can actually walk across my floor now so uh, I got the uh, molly motor on the stand there and then uh, I even got the frame in here to get ready to build this truck so anyhow guys we'll see you in a few days thanks for watching